Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel Fast Cabling. So today we're diving into the world of power over Ethernet technology and we'll be comparing two popular PoE solutions, the PoE injectors and PoE switches. So stick around as we break down the pros and cons of each to help you make an informed decision. And if you have any questions with any of your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below. And our team of experts will get back to you as soon as possible. So power over Ethernet, also known as PoE, is a revolutionized technology that allows both power and data to be transmitted over a single Ethernet cable. And this can eliminate the need for a separate power supply, which can simplify the installation and more cost effective. A PoE injector is a device that adds PoE capability to a non-PoE network, and its purpose is to inject power into the Ethernet cable, allowing it to supply both data and electricity to our PoE compatible devices. And there are many pros and cons. The pros of PoE injector including simple setup for powering individual devices, cost-effective solution for a small number of devices, and no need for specialized PoE-enabled switches. And cons are limited ports and scalability, also potential cable clutter and management issue. It may require additional power outlets as well. And PoE switch is a network switch that integrates power over Ethernet capability. Its primary purpose is to supply both power and data to multiple PoE compatible devices over Ethernet cable. And PoE switches are designed to simplify the deployment and management of network devices, such as IP cameras, real IP phone, access point, and other power network equipment. And they also have pros and cons as well. The pros including centralized power management for multiple devices, scalability with various port options, reduced cable clutter and simplified network architecture, and also provide advanced features like VLAN support and remote management. And the cons are the higher initial cost compared to the PoE injectors, and also it may require more technical expertise for setup and management. So when you're trying to figure out whether you should choose the PoE injector or the PoE switch, here are some factors that you should consider. The number of devices in your network. Do you have a single device or you have multiple devices in your network? The scalability. You have to future-proofing your setup. Cost consideration, the initial investment via a long-term saving. You have to calculate how much you put in your network investment. And also management and control. While PoE injector are easy to use, however, the PoE switch can provide centralized control. And also take in consideration the space and simplicity. So now we're in front of the demonstration board and I'm going to talk about three different scenarios and recommend which devices suit for the scenario. Maybe one of the scenarios will fit your situation, who knows? So scenario one is the small office setup. Imagine you're running a small office with a limited space and a handful of PoE devices, such as IP phone or IP camera. Budget is a concern and you're looking for a straightforward solution. In this case, I'm going to recommend this 10G PoE injector. It can inject 30 watts of power output and is compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF and AT standard and also support 10G bandwidth. It is easy to use. Just plug in the input port with your data, which is the router, and the output port to your PoE-enabled devices like this bullet camera. And this is working completely fine. This is a live video. And if you have a high-power device, no worry. 
you can use this 90 95 watts BT injector. Now, this injector is compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF, AT, and BT standard, support up to 90 watts of power output. This is the data input port and the PoE output port. And if you want to install your device at outdoor environment, we also have this outdoor industrial waterproof PoE injector. This injector can support 60 watts of power output and accept 100 to 240 volt AC input power. This is the data input port and this is the PoE output port. It is IP67 waterproof rated, so it's perfect to use in an outdoor harsh environment. So now we're at scenario two, which is the medium-sized business with growth potential. Let's say you're the IT manager of a medium-sized business and that's experiencing steady growth. So you're planning to expand your network and add more PoE devices like wireless access point, IP cameras, and VoIP phone. Scalability, efficient management, and future-proofing are your priorities. So in this case, I strongly recommend to use the PoE switch. This one up here is the 16 port PoE Plus switch with 2 gigabit SFP of link port. It has 16 PoE port that can support 30 watts of power output and also 2 gigabit SFP of link port to support fiber offset connection. And if you have high power device, don't worry because over here we have the 8 port. 2.5G PoE++ plus plus switch. Now this switch from port number 1 to 4 can support IEEE 802.3 BT standard and also 2.5G data transmission weight and 110G SFP of link port to support fiber optic connection. So we are connecting this switch to a wireless access point and a bullet camera. You can see this is a live video and the wireless, wireless access point is working as well. So down to the last scenario, the large enterprise with a complex network setup. You're overseeing the network operation of a large enterprise with multiple locations, hundreds of PoE devices, and a sophisticated network architecture. Reliability, redundancy, and seamless integration are critical to maintaining the operation. So I recommend the Manage Switch. Now, Manage Switch offers features like VLAN support, redundancy protocol, remote management and high power budget. This one up here is our 16 port and 4 SFP high power managed PoE switch from port number 1 to 8 can support up to 60 watts of power output compatible with IEEE 802.3 BT standard and the rest of the port can support up to 30 watts of the power and 4 SFP port to supply fiber optic connection. And if your network requires lots of fiber optic cables, and you can also utilize this 24 port SFP managed switch. This port has 24 SFP port and 8 combo port, and also 4 10G SFP of link port. And ultimately, the key takeaway is that your choice between PoE injectors and PoE switches should be driven by a careful assessment of your specific requirements and the scale of your network deployment. By selecting the right PoE solution to match your need, you can ensure efficient power delivery and network performance while avoiding unnecessary complexity or costs. And that's all for today's exploration of the PoE PoE injector and PoE switch showdown. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech insights. And you can drop your thoughts or questions in the comment box below. We love hearing from you. And until next time, stay powered and stay connected.